Pete Turismo and uh, today is day five of no school quarantine, whatever you want to call it. Day five of working from home. It's a little bit earlier than I would normally do this, but uh, usually on Friday at my lunch break, I go to market and uh, get a bunch of stuff for the, for the coming, and then, then the next week. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna go to market. We're gonna go early. The idea here is if we go early, then maybe there'll be less of a crowd and maybe um, they'll have more of the stuff that we want. Sometimes I find that if I go too late, I don't really have everything. So I don't want to wait until too late in the day. Also, they may close, uh, and as they run out of stuff, they may close. Anyway, um, I keep saying anyway, because, you know, anyway. First, we got to stop off at the ATM, grab some cash, then we're going to drive over to Market and see how that situation is, pick up milk on the way back home. <clears throat> Yesterday, the governor ordered all non-life essential businesses to close. And food vendors, of course, um, you know, grocery stores and markets and such are life essential. And one thing that everybody has to keep in mind is, of course, it's just Pennsylvania. Um, the surrounding states aren't in the same situation. So we don't want to end up with a situation where people from Pennsylvania are traveling to Maryland or other states to to get stuff and then bring it home because that sort of defeats the whole purpose of what we're doing here um, and the other thing I was gonna say is that all these uh, you know I'm not a farmer but I live near farms and so I understand that um, there's just sort of a farmers have chickens right and those chickens are at a certain age and then they need to be sent off for processing you know at a certain time or else they're worthless and more I guess the, the one thing that I always think of is is the cows the dairy cows you know they have to be milked every day um, and most of that can be done by a machine but nonetheless they have to be milked every day what happens to that milk well I don't know um, in a time like this, I think it still all gets processed and, and passed on to the next uh, point in the supply chain. <clears throat> but if we were to order all commerce and all manufacturing, including food, to stop, then they would just have to dump that milk out in the field or something, I guess, or I don't know. And we don't want that, obviously. So hopefully with the measures taken yesterday, um, we're, we're able to... Um, achieve the desired re result and with any luck we'll all be back to normal in April we'll see today is the 20th of March 2020 hi the ATM in my normal go-to branch is uh, <laughs> out or broke so I gotta go somewhere else gonna go to the other side of town I think I have enough money in there that I can go to any ATM and not have to pay, but I still prefer to go to my own because I, uh, <laughs> uh, well, security. This is roughly the amount of traffic you'd expect to see on a really slow day or whatever. I mean, even on Sunday mornings when I go out for cars and coffee, it's less than this, so it's not that light yet. Market is really slow, really slow, and it could be the time of day, I don't know. I don't normally come at 10.30 ever, except on a holiday, and on a holiday it's disproportionately busy, so so I can't really say. I can say that some people still take it among them, so, uh, upon themselves to uh, to make sure other people don't drive too fast, like, like this guy here, doing 25 and a 40, thanks for that. Um, you can make your own judgment. But anyway, uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna go to the ATM over here. Hopefully, they have some cash, and then um, get over to the market. remarkable to share so that's it let's go see what the news is of the day